vlog video. So I'm all dressed and ready because I'm going to London today. I'm going for a afternoon tea with Primark. It's for the Bridgerton Netflix series at the Lanesborough Hotel. So super excited. So I thought I'd pop on this H&M white waistcoat. I was gonna wear my naked linen trousers but because I obviously sit on the train for an hour, um, obviously I don't wanna get more crease. These will crease a bit but not as bad as my linen. And then I've gone for my naked blades. I've actually styled my hair down today. And then I've added my favourite Marks and Spencer's ballet flats because they're literally so comfortable. And then for my jewellery, I've got my everyday little pearl huggy earrings by Monica Vinader. And then this necklace is from Edge of Ember. And then all these other jewels are Pandora. And they've got my little Dior ring on and another Pandora ring. So I'm hoping that the weather holds out. It's been nice and sunny this morning. So I am going to pack my brolly just in case. I've got my Chloe tote bag just behind me there so I can get lots of stuff in it. excited to be trying on some spring summer bits today and how beautiful is this blouse I love the detail of the little flowers there's also like little butterflies as well and it's all on the sleeve literally so pretty this is the size 36 as well it just has like one of these like stand up granddad style collars but I sort of like them like open loosely looks really nice styled like with these jeans really really nice these two pieces so I really liked this khaki vest top it's sort of like in between like khaki and brown it's really nice and then how amazing are these trousers they're a tailored trouser with the pin tucks but they're like a bit thicker material these are size 34 and they literally fit me like a look I love the length of them they look like really really premium and yeah, the fit is honestly so, so flattering, especially styled as well with this vest. Like imagine with some sandals, a nice basket bag, like really minimal, but I love how wide the belt loops are as well. So yeah, these are honestly amazing. Why ask me twice if I would like to try your lies? I don't like the sound of that, don't call me cause you wanna chat, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I save the hate I made you 
jeans and these I want to try and get more of like a straight cut fit these are meant to be straight but they're really really long on me um, so I feel like more of like a wide leg but they're really high waisted these are the 27 such a shame because I really like the fit on the top they're literally just really long on the bottom then there's also these trousers as well so these are quite similar to the other ones but they have like more longer pin tucks I find sometimes when the pin tucks are here they make me look like really big and square here but these are 34 and they literally fit perfect and the length is really great as well and they're not too wide and they're not too straight because they are they are really nice but I just think the pin tucks just sit really weird on me I don't know if it's just my body shape but they are super flat in and do fit really well on the waist then next is this midi satin skirt which is absolutely lovely how amazing is the quality but it is a little bit on the see-through side you can just see the vest tucked in there I'm not sure if I'm wearing the right underwear underneath so I think it might be fine if you was wearing more like shapewear but you can sort of see the tag through so it is a little bit on the see-through side so this is a size 34 in the skirt um, really really lovely really classic looks so expensive and it feels so soft it's a shame that it is a little bit see-through I can see that you're really trying stay up at night fighting with my head and on my mind whatever I call me whatever I call me the next is this blazer so this is a silk blending in blazer I do have this in the black version from last year but I just tried it on with these sort of trousers and the vest up underneath, I didn't bring in a white t-shirt. I normally grab a white t-shirt when I'm doing trans, um, but it's really nice. I really like the buttons on it, and this is also the size 36 as well. So a really nice lightweight blazer for spring. some more pieces so I spotted these jeans and this striped jumper but also got two pairs of cream jeans to try so let's see how I get on with these so I think these jeans are a yes I'm not sure what fit these ones are but these are the 20 I think they're the 27 or potentially the 28 I'll link it for you um, but yeah I love how I love the wash of them but I love how they just go straight out um, and again I could wear these like, with my trainers I could also style them like with summer shoes as well with boots so yeah these are a really really nice fitting jean I'm honestly struggling with white cream jeans so much so I want more of like a white these look they look more more cream um, but these are the 28 30s they could be perfect on the waist but I really need them in a 28 28 um, but I'm going to see if they've got them. They fit really nice on the leg, but they are like honestly so soft. Um, I just need the next shorter leg. And I thought I'd try on a striped bit of knicks. I know you'll appreciate a striped jumper like me. This is like the sort of like thinner um, knit, but it has like elasticated here. And the sleeves are slightly, not really ballooned, but they have like cuffs on. This is a size small, but I feel like I'd probably end up sizing up to a medium, I'm not sure. Um, but sometimes I just think that these v-necks can sit a little a little weird on me, I'm not sure. I'm not sure on this one, I think it's the neck. It was a bit weird. So I'm just in Arquette now, and these are the rose cropped jeans. I'm trying on the 27, um, and they're not too cropped. Unfortunately, I didn't have the next size down in stories and they don't actually do a 30 leg and they were like really soft and like I didn't know how if I cut them how they would fray because denim was so soft but these actually fit really nice and they're not like too cropped either so this is them with my ballet pants on as you can see they're not too 
not too cropped but also look really nice like with my trainers and my converse so yeah these are the 27s so i think this is the best that i'm going to get because i'm really struggling so i'm just in uniqlo i can't pronounce it but i've seen these bra tops on tiktok and they basically have a bra fitted in so you don't have to wear a bra with the style top i've seen this and that is absolutely game changer so i picked up the grey one they also have them in black i did try on the medium because i have a big cup size um but the small fits better it just sits nicer here but really really comfortable what a game changer so i had a really lovely couple of days in london and more of a successful shopping trip so i'll show you what i picked up from stories i also picked up some jeans from arquette and the little crop tops bra tops basically from uniqlo i'll show you the actually because they're on top of this bag but i saw these literally on tiktok and they're literally game changing they're basically a vest top which has a bra on the inside. I think this time of year as well, I find it so annoying when you've got to find the right the right bra to wear underneath vests, like so you don't have any straps showing, but as well, so they're supportive. Look, I sort of like hate going braless when I have a vest on because I just feel self-conscious, but these having the built-in bra inside is literally just amazing. So that's the built-in bra. I got three colors. I got the gray, I also got the cream, and I got them in black because these are really good basics. And these were 19.99 and the quality is so good. So they do different, I basically recommend different sizes for like your cup size. Um, so I got the size small. I did think that I might need the medium because my cup's like a double D, but I tried on the medium and I found that it sort of was like then too big. It didn't sit properly here. So the small fits me absolutely fine. But I thought what a good basic to have in your wardrobe for the spring summer and such a game changer. So super chuffed with those. So these are the bits that I picked up from stories. I couldn't not get this shirt. It's just so, so pretty. It's got these like little butterflies, all this embroidery on. And I just think it makes a perfect top for like a nice top and jeans outfit especially for spring so i got it in this size 36 i did see it online i was going to order it but i wasn't sure whether to order the 34 because the reviews said that it was large to size but i say true to size and got a 36 is absolutely fine on me then i picked up this little basic vest top i really love the color it's like i'd say it's more like it's not full khaki i can't tell what it looks like in the camera i feel like it's an in between a khaki and like a really really dark brown but the quality is lovely i love stories for their basics it's also organic cotton as well and i got this in the so small then i couldn't not get these trousers either because they fitted me so good they're like the perfect fit neutral trouser but they look a lot more like premium i'm not sure if they do these in any other colors but they've a perfect pair of trousers like to dress up but also like for workwear as well they just hang so nice and the quality is amazing and then finally i picked up some new jeans so i've mentioned in my other videos that i'm trying to really nail my denim like i think my capsule wardrobe like i'm super happy with all the pieces i have in it but i'm not 100 on all the denim like i only have two pairs of jeans are like yeah they are like constantly my go-to so i have my end of the stories favorite cut ones absolutely swear by i also have the h&m mom jeans which i got probably about a month ago but i really love the fit of them and i've been wearing them loads and then i also have a wide leg pair um so i have like, my wide legs but i don't have i think when you're trying to shop for like a straight fit jean it's super hard like it's honestly so hard i've actually ordered some levi 501s i do have some but they're literally a bit too big on me so i ordered the i think i got a 28 i just never know what size i am in levi's it's so hard so i've seen some on farfetch were in the sale so hopefully they're going to be coming soon but i've spotted these and yeah these fit absolutely amazing super chuffed so yeah these ones are the high waist wide legged crop length comfort stretch jean from stories so i got them in the size 28 28 so I feel like jeans are like different sizes everywhere like i have a size 28 in my levi's and they're way too big for me but in in stories i'm always either um, a 28 or sometimes a 27 depending on the fit of them but you just have to try denim on so yeah i got these in a leg 28 and i thought for the spring summer as well but like a really good length it's trying to find because i'm five foot six I like to have the jean, the right jean that fits me. It's not like too long, but then it's not too high because sometimes I've had some jeans before and they look like too cropped. I mean, they look really short and it makes me look like really, 
it just makes my body shape look a bit weird so it's trying to find the right length i think once you hit the length that's just past your ankle or just literally on your ankle bone it just sits a lot more flattering but these the wash is just beautiful and as you can see they're not like a full wide leg but they're literally like a straight but they just hang really nicely so yeah super chuffed with these i need to have a look at more of strawberries done and i did try on the like cream jeans which were the new version of the favorite cuts i tried on the size 28 30 but i literally just needed the 28 leg like if i'd had them in the size 28 leg they would have been perfect and they were honestly so soft as well so if you are like probably a bit taller than me maybe on their five seven five eight then they'd actually fit really nicely but they don't do those jeans in a 28 meg only 30s which is super annoying but i did find these jeans in rk i think these are the best i'm gonna find like honestly i'm just really struggling and these i got in a size 27 so these are the rose crop jeans high waist slim fit straight leg no stretch in the size 27 so rk just do waist size so they don't do leg sizes like still we sometimes do two different legs but these were the jeans again super chuffed with how these fit and i also really like the tone of white because i find that some white jeans can either be too white like too what they look makes them look cheap if that makes sense but then they're either like too cream like you know you have the ecru collat when you have them when they're like really like creamy yellowy and these are really nice in between they're not either if that makes sense the wash is really lovely but these are their new style fit they do do them in other denim as well and um, like a darker denim i saw them in a dark blue like a mid wash like more of a light wash and also a dark gray but yeah super happy with the fit of these and they're a really good length as well so i think i finally found my white jeans for the spring summer and then i actually went back to h&m home but my camera had died so i went to h&m home on regent street because i had my table runners you would have seen my last video i did like a little um h&m haul h&m home haul um but i needed like a tablecloth because our table is so long um, I bought a table runner and it's like way too short so I've like folded it over that way but I found this tablecloth in H&M home and how beautiful is this like it's a perfect like neutral like tablecloth for hosting I thought it was just so nice so I need like a 320 that's what I need so they did have some other tablecloths in Birmingham there wasn't really that many tablecloths but I spotted this in Regent Street so I thought okay I need to get this but I'm after a plain white one as well so I'm going to go back to Zara home I'm in London next week um, I'm going back to um, Hershey's for a hair treatment for a launch with Kerastars and I went to the H&M home not the H&M home I went to the Zara home there and I saw like loads of bits, but I didn't realize there's actually only like, a couple of Zara homes in London. I thought they would be everywhere, but they're not. Um, so I'm gonna go back and get that vase because I literally edited it in my vlog. I've got a vase instead on our table, like a glass one from Jisk, which has literally just been like a quick fix. Like I like it, but it's not the vase that, like it's nice to have some glassware in the spring summer but i really wanted a nice rustic like cream vase and that one's just perfect so i'm gonna go back and get that next week and then look for like a plain white cream linen tablecloth and i also picked up these napkins too so i really liked the like contrast stitch on these i'm not sure whether i'm gonna just use these ones or the other ones so i thought i'd style the table and see which like color works best but i think that these work better with the tablecloth so i think i'm gonna return those other ones they have a slight like blush undertone to them then i picked up another one of these so what i'm going to do is have like two of those running over this way so i have like four placemats have the two runners going over that way and the tablecloth going over so i've got another one of them and then i also picked up these napkin rings so i can find them i thought they looked really really nice especially styled like with this napkin i think the colors just look so nice together sort of like see roughly there and um, but obviously you'll see more like with the contrast stitch on but i thought this really goes with like the rustic vibe of our table i was going to get some like gold ones or like some like brass ones but i really like the character of the wood so i think i might just have these wood ones and then because my cutlery is like gold with black and then get some nice gold candlesticks to style the table and i also picked up this apron as well so this matches a tablecloth perfectly and goes really nice in our kitchen. They also do it in like a brown, like more of like a grey and cream stripe, which is really nice. And they do just come in one size, I think, but this one was 9 99 Then finally, I picked up this serving plate, which goes really nicely with all our other plates. So I have 
the mugs of this style. So as you can see, I really like the rustic shape of this, but I have the mugs. I also have the water jug, but they also matches our Tesco plates really well. That's why we've got all those plates from Tesco because they match this perfectly, but I really love like the sort of like rustic tones. It has like this nice little feature as well on the edge. You can see it has the brown there, but these aren't dishwasher safe. I've actually ruined one of the mugs because I don't know, like obviously I've never had a dishwasher before. And I knew like the gold stuff, like I couldn't really put in the dishwasher, but I just put the mug in and I literally just put it in and didn't realise. And I got it out and it's sort of like, not wrecked it, but it's just sort of took the, like see how it has like this speckle bit on. It sort of took that off. So it's literally just playing with like the brown edge. So I was like, what have you done to that mug? I was like, I accidentally put it in the dishwasher. So these aren't dishwasher safe, but I thought styles with that tablecloth and the napkins and the rings, it'll look really nicely all together. I nearly forgot to show you my new shoes as well. So these arrived yesterday from Birkenstock. I've been trying to get my hands on these for so, so long. So these are the Birkenstock Bostons in the shade top and honestly they're so soft i love how smooth but i also like as well the sway looks quite rustic they're super comfortable got them in a size six and i've wanted these for ages but they're always out of stock they're literally like a gold or like when i've been styling outfits for the spring summer i've been thinking oh my god that looks so cool with bostons like i keep saying all the time like i just need a pair of those bostons but finally have a pair now i also really like the black ones as well but i will try and link as many like websites for you as possible. I got these ones from Offspring, so they, they were back in stock on there. I have seen them on flannels as well, so I'll link as many as I can below for you, because I know these are super hard to get. It's taken me a year to get them, but I finally have them now. So those are the new bits that I picked up this week. Very, very successful, of course. Everything that I've showed you and tried on, I'll link down below for you in the description box, and I'll also link all terms as well to anything that's sold out and link all the websites for my Bostons. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this this week's come shopping with me it's been a while since i've done one and it's been so nice just to go down to london go shopping i just love shopping it's just like my own self-care it's been really really nice and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video so if you have then please don't forget to like it and make sure you do subscribe to my channel as well so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video